Carly, thanks. Lower back pain is the most common chronic pain issue in the U.S., with up to 80% of adults struggling with it on a regular basis. And with so many people working from home for the past year without the proper home office setup, the issue has only gotten worse. This morning, personal trainer Candace McField joins us with four exercises to alleviate lower back pain. Right, because people are used to sitting at their desk, right? They've been doing that for how many years? And now they're on the couch, they're at their bed, they're in a dining room chair. Uh, I, I have seen this. My husband is dealing with the lower back pain issues already. So, right. Yeah. And it's and you know, all sorts ahead, of Anna. sitting, you know, all sorts of sitting locations and changing it up. And sometimes he's at work, sometimes he's at home. So I get it. Yeah, no, you know, you know, and millions of people across our country are dealing with lower back pain, just like you said, from sitting that creates muscle imbalances, especially in the core. So if you think about low back pain, there's three things associated with the imbalance. Like, first of all, low back pain can be because of, you know, just a low, uh, low strength in the lower back and, and not having flexibility. But also, like you just said, the um, uh, inadequate core strength just from sitting more like the last year we've all been sitting more and then uh, finally a lot of times we don't have the flexibility in our hamstrings and hip flexors mm -hmm. so I want to show you four exercises today if you're struggling with lower back pain these can help you with that issue so the first exercise that we have is a, is a back extension right it's just a very subtle movement so you're just bringing your chest up off the uh, ground but you'll feel it in your lower back and actually the top part of your glutes as well so remember you don't have to come up high because you will feel it in your lower back the second exercise i have is a glute bridge a basic fundamental fundamental movement where you just come up and down so you're pressing off your heels but as you come up you're going to feel that uh that your lower back working so it's another great exercise to strengthen the lower back. And then the third exercise, as we said, we need to in, uh, increase your core strength. So we have another basic movement. Here we have the front bridge, or some people call it the plank. So I just want you to come up. Notice like your shoulders are back, your whole body's in alignment um, at like a perfect horizontal line. And just come up slowly and hold that position and then come back down. So I want you to basically work on increasing how, how long you can hold that position if this is too advanced i want you to drop to your knees and do the same uh, movement on your knees and that will help like be a more beginner exercise and then the third exercise we have is just the side bridge so it's just like the front bridge but now we're working our side because a lot of people only work the front abdominals or the rectus abdominals um, so a lot of times the side abs are ignored and so again this is a side bridge just come up i want you to increase how long you can do it and if this movement right here is too long for you i want you to drop to your knees and do that side bridge on your knees. So again, four exercises to help you alleviate that lower back issues that millions of people are facing across our country. Oh, absolutely. Candace, thank you. And we covered some more lower back stretches in our last segment with you. And those yes. are really helpful. Um, I have found their, them to be very helpful. People can find that segment on our website at fox4kc.com or they can check out your website, which is candacemcfield.com. Candace, thanks for joining yes. us. Thanks for having me, Abby. Oh,